Hey everybody, what's up? It's Re or Rebel Inks Art here again with another creative corner. Today brings us the very first traditional speed paint. Uh, I made the decision to go ahead and have the modern Disney princess redesigns as an every other week sort of thing. Uh, so that way we can still get some, some fun, funky content in on Tuesdays as well. Um, so here we can just see Cheddar hopping up on my canvas, taking a little nap uh, before I have to take him off. Um, this is the beginning uh, from a storytelling perspective of a painting series I'm doing called Connect. Sorry, I had a little, a little sneeze there. Um, if you notice a difference in my voice, it's because I've come down with something gnarly. I believe it's a cold. I'm all sniffly and groggy and gross. Um, so if that comes through audibly, I am very sorry about that. I'm gonna try and keep the sniffles on the down low. Um, so this is from a series I'm doing called Connect, and it's about growing up, um, in a town, uh, with not a whole lot of resources while being disabled, uh, and queer. Um, and it is just kind of about my experience and my initial disconnect from society, how I felt really alone and isolated growing up, and how uh, the rise in technology and communications um, allowed me to have access to resources so I could learn about myself and who I am and how that kind of impacted me and helped me out. Um, so this is kind of the start of that. It's uh, illustrating that initial isolation. Um, this one I decided to call Static Fields. Um, initially it was just going to be a um, an empty space silhouette, a negative space silhouette on a very bright, vibrant background, but about halfway through I decided I wanted to go ahead and make the, the silhouettes, uh, full of static, because that was something I, um, decided to identify, um, some of my different symptoms as very early on. Things like disassociating or mind fog always came across to me as feeling like I was uh, kind of became TV static. It was something I remember having the feeling, um, the feeling of very young in life, and it's still a, a kind of illustration that my brain comes up with to this day whenever it kind of goes down. Um, so I wanted to just kind of make it that much more personal. So for this, I'm painting on a 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm going in with acrylic paint um, and caffeinating heavily while I go. <laughs> Um, and the reason I picked a cornfield for this, uh, for this backdrop is, uh, it's got a couple different layers. The first and foremost being I grew up in Indiana, which is not the most progressive state that we have out here. Um, and because of that, there wasn't a whole lot of resources, um, there wasn't a whole lot of information for me growing up about people who deal with uh, things like ADHD, things like bipolar disorder, things like depression. And so for a very long time, that kind of isolation led me to believe that there was just something fundamentally wrong with me, that whatever was going on with my life, it was a problem with me, it wasn't something that anyone else shared. And that led to a lot of, just a lot of disconnect from society. Um, but the other reason for the cornfield backdrop is because um, my grandmother lives on a farm. My father grew up on a farm and my grandmother lives there to this day. And uh, because we're one of those families that visits our relatives, um, if they're in traveling distance at any given opportunity for even the tiniest of things, I spent a lot of time on this farm. And um, it was probably, um, when I was very young, one of my favorite places to be just because it was so isolated from everything. There was just no cars that would drive by, there was no people, there was no anything, it was just two big barns, a pig barn, a tree with an old swing, and just endless fields of corn. And after, you know, we'd eaten our meals together, we'd all caught up, and you know, the uncles were off sleeping in the armchairs, and the moms were talking about like work and kids and all that kind of stuff, I would just head outside and I would chase the barn cats, and I would explore these barns and I would just wander as far as I could into the cornfields and see how far I could get before I would lose sight of the 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 house and there was just this infinite calm in that because um as disconnected as I felt from reality there wasn't anybody else there to kind of hold myself to as a standard it was just me out there and there was this kind of comfort in the anonymousness of it all and so I have a lot of fond memories of just running around, lost in my imagination, having adventures with Batman and Spider-Man and Static Shock in the Fae, and just running around and feeling safe in how alone I was. Um, and so that was kind of um, just another inspiration for this, 
this painting. I wanted to make it very colorful, very vibrant, because it always felt like there was this kind of this world outside of me that I seemed so beautiful and wonderful for everybody else in it, but I just couldn't figure out how to plug myself into it. Uh, very similar to the way I used to feel about milk, because when I was very young I had a lactose allergy, and I, growing up, I thought that yogurt had to be the greatest thing on the planet. I wanted yogurt so bad. And then as soon as uh, my dairy allergy went away, I was so excited to try yogurt and I found out I hated the stuff. <laughs> Which ended up being my experience with a lot of the things um, I idolized as a little kid. A lot of the things that we see and can't have end up not being as great once we're in the thick of them, but sometimes that kind of hope that one day we'll get to try things or be a part of things is what keeps us going and we just kind of got to cling to that. So here I am just going ahead and doing that nice kind of pastel sky. I'm gonna throw some clouds in there. I know I should be commentary, but Toothless is uh, doing commentary, but Toothless is currently lying on my computer desk and he is just staring at this bead paint, like transfixed. And honestly, it's making me feel real good, making me feel real confident. So hopefully, hopefully you guys will like this as much as Toothless is. He is just staring. This is like the time I put on a cooking show and Cheddar was just like up at the computer. He was so invested in watching this guy make chicken. It was so good. Should have recorded it. Oh well. Throwing those clouds on there. Caffeinating again. And then I'm going ahead and throwing in some little trees. Some happy little trees. Honestly, I'm very excited about the Connect series. I've done a couple paintings that I believe are technically a part of it, but I only just, it was kind of a funny process. Um, I found myself drawing people kind of fusing into their surroundings. Like I have a woman whose hair becomes clouds and everything just kind of fades into the sky. I have a lady whose like body turns into a coral reef. I've just had this fascination with people like growing into their surroundings for the longest time and I couldn't figure out why this was such a such a fascination for me until I kind of realized it was because that was the kind of life I wanted to have I wanted to feel just like infinitely connected to my surroundings um and I realized after a while it was because I felt so distanced from the world around me for such a long time now that that kind of idea of being so in tune with everything around you that you are literally a part of it was just absolutely fascinating to me and that just kept working its way into my art and I decided all right let's channel this let's make a whole series of about this particular emotion about what it felt like to feel not connected to anything and about how in kind of my personal journey that became a real fixation for me um and, you know, for the longest time, art's always been just, like, such a big, you know, lifeboat for me. Um, I used art as a way to kind of control my surroundings as, you know, something that I could create that I could feel like a part of. Um, and it used, it was something I used to not only feel safe in my environment, but it was also something that I used to, you know, give me a way to see a light at the end of the tunnel and help discover, you know, myself and who I was and who I wanted to be. And it's really just helped me learn a lot about myself. And now that I, you know, have a grasp on that, I want to use that as something that other people can use to go, hey, I'm not alone in this. This is something that other people experience and that maybe they can use that as a, as a lifeboat uh, in and of itself. Because in the end, it's art was something that saved my bacon. Um, I don't like to be too serious on my show, but um, there was quite a few times in my life that things were pretty dark for me, and if it weren't for A, Lindsay, and B, Art, I don't know if I would have come out on the other side of it, but because I had um, A, just such incredible moral support, and B, something I could use to kind of create a happy ending for myself, even in the most fictional senses, it was... I managed to come out on the other side and because of that I just want to show I want to use that same thing that I used to get me out of there to show other people who are in those same situations that hey you're not alone you're doing incredible I believe in you you're gonna be okay these things you're feeling you're not weird you're not wrong you're not terrible you're doing a great job um, and I don't know it's just kind of something 
that I'm very excited about um, kind of getting out there and doing more and more of. So um, if my timeline on my video software is to be believed, um, then you are looking at the finished illustration of this. I don't know why, but when I'm recording my voiceover, the video clip uh, for the painting plays slower. So you probably heard like the little happy trees comment way after you actually saw the happy trees. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. This is my second take on it and it's done it again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this painting. If you wanna see more speed paints, um, of me doing acrylic paintings, just go ahead and let me know. I'm gonna be doing acrylic paintings no matter what, but if you guys like seeing them, I'll definitely record me doing more. Um, and I hope you guys, I don't know, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and until I see you guys in the next video, stay safe, have fun, create some art, and take some names. I love you! Bye bye